right, guys. Um, today we've got a review of the Bogan uh, Communications A6T speaker. So this is going to be very similar to the uh, Transformer model of the Near Audio uh, A6. Um, again, this is the A6T, so this is the Transformer model in white. Um, so you've got a six inch speaker. Um, you've got the transformer with three different uh, transformer taps on it. Um, you've got the eight watt, 16 watt, and 32 watt with the common on the back. Uh, I have not tried the uh, eight ohm version of this. So this is listed as, um, I wanna say it's around 150 watt handling with a, the 8 ohm version. Again, this is a 32 watt tap max on the transformer version. Uh, it has a 1 and an eighth inch ferrofluid uh, aluminum dome tweeter um, with the 6 inch speaker. This is completely sealed, um, so you don't have kind of the, the ports on it. Um, and overall, I mean, this thing's fairly a, a beast of a speaker. It has an aluminum powder coated um, or paint matched um, bracket here that is a very, very thick gauge, like a nice gauge. I think it's about an eighth inch mounting bracket. Um, really designed for commercial use. This is going to be a, a great speaker for something like that. Um, the large uh, end caps on here for securing the mounting bracket work really well. They feel very solid. Um, this is a, uh, I believe it's a fiber reinforced polypropylene UV stabilized, uh, so it's not going to yellow um, out in the sun, uh, at least not for quite some time. The barrier strip on the back, the terminals here um, are a gold plated and they're claimed to be rust proof, which I find very interesting. I mean, depending on what they're made out of and how thick that coating is, I can see that but they're not rust resistant. They are in fact rust proof. And they do, unfortunately, at, as an addition, they, they sell a boot that goes on the back of these terminals for the wire to pass through that will seal up this connection to keep moisture and, and bugs and things out of this. Uh, and additionally keep things from possibly being able to bridge the, the terminals on here. Um, the sound of these is, is extremely good. It's a, a 55 hertz to 17 kilohertz, uh, which I find kind of funny. You know, most companies are, are going to put something like uh, 40 or 35 up to 20k. Um, they kind of overstate their specs, so I find that to be a little bit more realistic. Not sure I would go down to uh, 55 hertz with a 70 volt line. Um, it, it's a very beefy transformer that's in here, but I think it would probably run the risk of saturating if you really pushed this at the 32 uh, tap with the full uh, 55 run that low. Again, if you're using something like this, 80 hertz usually fine. Uh, that's the THX spec for most crossovers anyway. Um, I tend to lean toward that unless I'm running specific subwoofers in the area. And if I want low end, honestly, I'm probably running a subwoofer. Uh, something like a CDI 1000 amp uh, split between them. So run 8, 8 ohm uh, sub off one side. Uh, and then one side goes to all of your speakers out in mono for like a patio or something you're gonna have a fantastic sounding uh, system. Um, now, the, the grill here seems to be a little bit thin. Um, I actually have one that has cracked the like four or five uh, kind of bracing parts right through here. Uh, this is all plastic, which is a real benefit if you're in an environment like a swimming pool with chlorine or if you're around the ocean with a lot of salt air. It is a detriment, however, if these are anywhere low. Now, with a white or a black, this is most likely gonna be up on an overhang, out over a restaurant patio, um, something like that. With uh, the green, however, I can see it being more on a post or down low on a, on a stake mount and actually put into the landscape 
in which case, if you've got anyone that gets near it that hits this hard enough, lawn mowers, anything like that, this may not hold up well. Um, I have not, without directly contacting the company, been able to really find a replacement grill for this, which should be pretty easy because it's got uh, just the four screws that hold it on. Um, I would love to see just a third party, someone like a Full Sail or a Marker Tech, anyone, any of the pro audio companies like that, if they could carry this as a replacement part, that would be absolutely wonderful because I can see that kind of breaking. Um, that said, if it's, if it's mounted up high, I don't think you're going to have a big problem with that. Uh, the mounting on here is pretty wonderful. Um, especially if you have a, especially if you have a, uh, a mount that is downward, then they're going to sit into these little notches right here and you don't have to actually remove these. Um, so if you've got something on here where you just loosen this um, on both sides and then this bracket can actually come off, um, you have to loosen it past the, the little mounts here. But then it has notches in there so that this can just set down in. Um, it's a little bit more of a challenge if you're mounting this hanging, but it does hold. Um, so it kind of slots down in there nicely. Um, but then you have to kind of lift up the speaker to align it with the, the fatter part of the, the thread on these end caps. Um, overall, these tighten down nicely. Um, they're a friction mount, so it can move unless it's really cranked down on, which I'm not sure I would really want to do. Uh, it has a safety cable port on the back, which is really nice uh, to do a simple loop around with a, a stainless cable and tie that back in uh, to avoid this coming off your overhangs, anything like that. Um, big help when installing too, just to be able to have it and have it on the safety cable. That way, if something happens while you're mounting this and you go to drop it, if you've got that safety cable on there first, um, and then you loop that around your structure or tie it to your structural member, this is, it's gonna save you from dropping one of these during install as well. Um, once again, just because it's a little bit more difficult with the angle they've got these that it sits down in, with it upside down with you hanging it, it could kind of come out through the notches. Um, so overall, I mean, this is a, a fantastic speaker, very high quality. I kind of wish they sold a little bit more replacement parts to the general uh, public, if you will. Um, I'm sure you can probably get them through the, the manufacturer. Um, I've got an, an email in to, uh, to rep actually about a replacement grill for one of these. Um, but overall, just some availability of things like that would be nice. I don't foresee any issues with, with these. Uh, they install nicely, they hold nicely, they feel very substantial. You know, you can tell that the quality is there as far as the magnet and the driver, um, as well as the transformer. They did not skimp on these. They've definitely got the mass to back them up. Um, and they've got plenty of mounting points on here for most anything that you're gonna wanna do. Uh, if you wanted to get a, a stake kind of mount or mount this to a junction box for um, for like a 70 volt run out in landscape, something like that. I could see that working very well. Um, and then it's also got uh, slots on either side. So if you are installing this um, via screw thread through, then you are able to, to easily kind of pivot it to match more where you're trying to aim it. Um, and then of course you've got your angles on here, you've got your 45s on either side so that when this is actually mounted out into a corner, um, if you've got it in like a corner of your, of your restaurant patio or something like that, um, that works extremely well for, um, for that so that you can actually get it in the corner without having to put a ton of blocking in. Uh, the other thing that can be used for that's actually really cool is if you wanted to have these such that they were mounted at an angle while vertical, 
you could mount these so that they were to face down and then still have your, your pivot with that. So overall, I've been really happy with these. Um, I, I would love to try the, the 8 ohm at some point, but when it comes to commercial like this, 70 volt is, is kind of what I deal with with that. Um, so just, I'd love to see if there was more, more low end um, on the, the 8 ohm rather than the 70, but I don't think it's really a problem with the transformer, just simply a size of the driver. Overall, I really like these speakers. Um, very good quality, good build quality. They're non-resonant. Uh, they seem to hold up for a very long time. Easy to install. Uh, and really just, other than a few of the shortcomings that I pointed out, um, I, I enjoy working with these and look forward to installing more of them uh, on upcoming projects. Overall, guys, if you, if you like this video, we're going to be doing some more on some different speakers, uh, different installs, maybe some amplifiers. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.